Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world, and he is out to prove it right here, right now. Undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? For this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. Now here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 14 losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the challenger, Jorge Gamebred Mosfida. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton for Lada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru. The Nigerian Nightmare, Usman! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch gloves and we are underweight. Ready. All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. It looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Checks the leg kick. What a punch. Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it, man. I mean, I mean he's showing it, John. This guy has the ability. This 
stand and box with anyone in the UFC. And that was on full display when he beat Nate Diaz. Oh, beautiful jab there. Oh, man. A nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Usman. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strike. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Usman. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Lands the grounded pound strike here. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Kamaru Usman. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. Round two straight ahead. Why well, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC? A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon, both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, DC's back from the can as we get this next round underway, and his striking in that previous round was so good. I got tired just watching that. I mean, he did a great job of landing strikes. Not only the strike, not only the strike, there was significant strike. A lot of punches outside of the jab. I've got to trouble a lot of time about what's significant and what's not. Right. But I'm telling you, he landed a lot of punches that were very easy to make that determination. Leave the stack guys alone. Leave them alone, man. Over and over, I get trouble. <laughs> Some good shots, you hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. These are unofficial, but 61 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. And connecting in a pretty good clip on officially 69% on the accuracy rate against Jorge Masvidal. Great punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice entry into the finish direct. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. Right there, his opponent's wobble chair. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high crotch. Oh, oh takes it forward high. What a fantastic takedown. 
All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Side control now. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Gamebrook. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making... Now he sees the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. My triangle, my triangle. Submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Ready, fight. Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this chick. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Judo throw. Let's see if he can capitalize and lock up a sub. You got to try to find whether or not you're going to land. Ground and pound here or if you're going to go to a submission. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Good work from the top here by Usman. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Now who's been really getting the ground and pound going, DC. You gotta hip escape. You gotta do something to get out of harm's way. You have to move. You have to be doing something. Usman's one of the best grapplers from the top that you've ever seen. Unbelievable awareness. Knows how to control the hips. He doesn't give you any out when he's on top of you. Nice hammer fist. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Usman's back in full now. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt, he's been battered, he's been beat. And now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by Kamaru Usman. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice.
right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. A straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Nice loop and punch. All right, single collar tie now. Takedown defense holds up, and they separate. Educated jab there by Jorge Gaines. Such a crazy fight. Under three minutes remain in round four. Another clinch position. Look for a level change as he tries to secure a takedown. That punch will work right through the draw. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Knee to the body. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. And now he's got that Thai clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, take down there by Usman. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flute choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. <laughs> Goodness, what a fight. Right, I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it, Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop in this contest at 4 minutes, 25 seconds of round number 4. For the winner by submission, and still the undisputed UFC Walter White champion of the world, Cameroon, the Nigerian nightmare, Usman. All right, so a lot of people like the challenger tonight, but it goes to the champion. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight king. And going to take a big effort, I would think, to be from this. Yeah, he is just a great fighter. He does everything so well. And the confidence that he brings into the octagon on fight night is unmatched by 